Hi there and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today we want to talk about the variable lookup table within Google Tag Manager. But before we get started as always these little videos are brought to you by my Udemy course on Google Tag Manager where I'll teach you the essentials that you need to know to use this tool effectively. If you want to check that out head over to gtmtraining.com slash YouTube. Now let's get started with talking about the variable within Google Tag Manager called lookup table. And lookup tables are really useful because they can rewrite an existing variable into a new variable. So for example, if you have as an input the URL path and with whatever it gets filled, this value will be taken and matched up against the lookup table. And if it finds a match, it will then output a value that you have specified in the second column here into a new variable. And this new variable, you can name this variable with whatever you like. So for example, if the URL path variable obtains the value of slash hello, then the lookup table will match that up and output the value greeting into the new variable that you created. Now it's important to note once the URL path gets matched up with the lookup table in the first column, this operation is like a match or equal operation. So this is not regular expressions or something, but rather the URL path needs to match exactly what you write in the first column of your lookup table. And this whole lookup table variable functions like a, if the first column is true, then output the value of the second column into the new variable. So let's jump into a live example and see how this can be useful. Now let's go through a simple example here. I have made up a new tag called the outbound link click event tag where I have configured that a Google Analytics event should fire when somebody clicks on an outbound link and the properties of this event tag are category outbound links action click and then the label the click URL that way we can keep it pretty dynamic and in Google Analytics it will show up which how often outbound links were clicked and links they actually clicked on so just to try this out if we are in our demo shop here and go to a special page. I made up a page here, social media, where we have uh, different links to different properties and I will click on them with the command key pressed so they open up in a new tab. Every time we click one of those, we see that a our event tag has fired. You can also see that in Google Analytics so for example, just now there were four events fired. Once we click into the event category, we can also see the label of it. And we have here the event label, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, and so on. Now this is all fine, but what if we want to actually rewrite this event label so it looks a little bit more pretty and we have Facebook here instead of the full URL or just LinkedIn here instead of the full URL. URL. Well, what we could do is obviously we could replicate this tag and write in the label Facebook and then change our trigger to only fire outbound links, link clicks with the click URL Facebook. But this is unpractical because we would need to replicate this tag four times in order to make sure that we capture all the four links that are out there and potentially even more links that are on the page. So how can we creatively use our lookup table for this? Well, we could simply replace the click URL with a new lookup table variable. So let's go ahead and do that. You simply would create a new variable under the variables tab and first of all title your give it an appropriate title
and then choose as the type the lookup table and then it comes to the input variable so which variable do we actually want to rewrite or which variable do we want to match up against our lookup table we would go with click URL here and then we can start to add our table now we already saw in our events here we have the event label and this is what we want to rewrite so we need to make sure that those match up exactly against our input variables and we can find that obviously in Google Analytics if you have it already set up or once you are on your page you would also see that obviously in the different variable tabs here click URL facebook.com Twitter and so on so let's input that here and then we can fill out the output variable so what do we want to have this rewritten to and once we have figured this out we can create this new variable and now we simply have to change the variable within the tag and we already have it available here in our variable menu let's continue and save this tag and reload our preview and debug mode so once we go to social media now close all these windows let's click on all these links again with the command key pressed and as we see our event tag fired four times once we click into one of these event tags we can see the properties with which it was filled and we see here that our event label is now Facebook and we can check that up obviously in Google Analytics under the real-time reporting here on the events we just had four new events and now those are labeled like we inputted into our lookup table so this can be really useful if you want to rewrite your existing labels and on something custom within your event tag but there are many more examples on where lookup tables could be useful in my personal work I often use the lookup tables in when inputting content groups so I can keep this very very dynamic and have a setup that works within the scope of Google Tag Manager and another very useful example comes from the guys from Lunar Metrics where they used the lookup table to get a dynamic source for campaign tracking which basically means that if you have an affiliate who sends a user to the page you can keep the UTM source parameter dynamic and it will be automatically filled with the referrer information which is super useful if you want to find out where your users are coming from if they came from an affiliate so the team at Lunar Metrics used the lookup table variable in this capacity as well
And one more further resource, if you have a lot of different options to fill in the lookup table, you can use a useful script also by the guys at Lunar Metrics, which you can use to prepare your lookup table in a spreadsheet and then simply copy it into the lookup table. And this script is really useful because it can get tiresome clicking on this add to row button to input a new row into your lookup table. So check that out. You'll find the links beneath in the description of this video. And that's already it with this week's video on Google Tag Manager. If you want to find out more, take a look at our channel. Otherwise, if you like this video, please subscribe and we'll bring you new videos every week. I'm Julian, till next time. So now let's get started with scroll tracking within GTM. And in order to, and what we'll do in this little tutorial is implement a custom HTML tag, which will basically act as our event listener in Google Tag Manager. And when somebody's, but now let's get started talking about bounce rate. So the bounce rate is often seen as this metric to evaluate landing pages. So does the traffic that hits my page actually stick around or leave the page? There's actually a little bit of a problem here with the bounce rate because the way that is defined in Google Analytics. Let's have a look. So a bounce in.